Hey everybody, you have fallen to the next. We bring you everything that is awesome in gaming. I'm trying to decide how epic the music needs to be. So we are in Fawn. It's 4.12 p.m. Um, Fawn is the city of beauty. So it has a lot going on for it. Um, Ultima was a really interesting game. It did everything in Anglo-Saxon runic and said that you were in a different universe. So this is what? Um, A-L-A-C-E. And that's the letter P. So that's the palace. What I'm looking for right now, I'm in the city of beauty. So I'm not... Not where I usually, you know, where I'm used to being. Um, I had to chase down uh, this guardian. He calls himself the guardian, which is horrifying. Was disrupting um, magic. So it was all going wrong. This is a place that uses magic. And we chased him um, back to here. But we've kind of lost the trail. Now, one of the ladies... Delphinia, the healer, had a boyfriend outside the city. So we did manage to get him to tell us where the fellowship camp is. Because <clears throat> I'm pretty sure over this way. So we're going to go check that out and see what's going on with this mysterious guardian now that we're outside of, you know, where we're heroes. There we go. And somewhere where they don't know us. Greetings, old wench thou art, we're attaching this openly. What's your name, homie? Second mate, Kaelin. A seafarer, and I do whatever the captain wants done. Green fellow's hospitable, be sure thou don't accept a inner invitation. So they're having a major problem with goblins, the teleportation storms. So keep you safe, darling, thou shouldst come over to my end. Goodbye. Again, go dog go here. <coughs> now the sailors have been pretty much put out of business. I'm Scott's a geographer. Perhaps I would share tales of other places with you, so I might add details to my maps. Pikemen tracked them to the woods around the night's test. Oh, we did track down the Goblin King and kill them. So they're retaking their towers and so on. Uh, let's see. Good as a geographer if he cannot explore and map the lands he finds. The storm will keep me and mine shipmates from the sea. I ask all those who come to me for tales of distant places. Maybe some truth in the telling can add to my maps as Gweno suggested. Gweno is Ilo's wife who went on ahead of us. Um, Ilo is right here. She contacted me in Britannia with an opportunity to explore new land. Naturally accepted. She was to transport some sort of obelisk here for the fellowship, and she was free to explore and collect all the tales she wished. Sounds like her. I can tell thee that it digresses from the virtues that Lord British set forth. So our buddy stayed behind and became king. Obviously. <laughs> obviously you would do that. Thou hast not met Leon yet. For the crowd of people, he's charismatic. So were these guys enemies? Um, we're not the enemies of the priestess. Kalista runs the town. There's something going on. They know that she's plotting with a chancellor, but nobody really knows what's going on. So this entire series is um, essentially nothing but side quests. We know that this guy Zulith is in the way. Um, there's something going on with their oracle. So we need to take a look at that. Uh, and then the great chancellors of of the city are kind of caught up in the whole teleportation issue. So she's got some girls, Yolinda, who's also vying for power. So they brought the obelisk here for Balin, which is horrible. Suspect it was merely a result of the disorientation from the teleportation storm that brought him here. They went looking for the black rock artifact. Ooh, it's in the um, shape of a snake. Now, the old um, religion here was that two snakes held the balance, and the third snake, the snake of chaos, was locked away by them. So that's all over the place. It's really interesting. Um, the City of Beauty, obviously, um, they have the City of Courage, the City of Beauty, and then the City of the Mages. All Monitorians travel to the Dents of the Southwest for a variety of passage. They don't talk a whole lot about the mage one, 
Um, we do know that one of the girls was either kidnapped or brought there from our last city, so we're looking for her as well. So we get a copy of a map from this guy, which is good. Because we need to track down um, a couple different things. All right, so they know about this kind of intrigue that's going on, and they're interested, but not, not a whole lot there. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. There we are. Turned again. Oh, also not you. <laughs> that's a Randy first mate that we met. Um, They were, you know, this was a man's game, so they definitely put effort into the, that, into making it interesting for males. Um, you can hook up with people and so on. They had, you usually have like one romance option and it's short. Values of the Fellowship have reached the ranks of Pikeman and Leon. So you mostly want to like know what he's doing. You don't have to read every single word of this. We've heard about the triad a million times. Trust in thy brother. Um, you know, worthiness precedes reward. And the principles of unity. And it's basically to create sheep. So they're trying to... Um, get people to uh, form this money pyramid and put all their businesses together. It's kind of socialist. And then you get to hear the inner voice, which is the guardian. So we know that that's a bad guy, or at least it is as far as, you know, the current piece is, you know, they would really have to upset that for him to take over. So unfortunately, a whole lot of money is moving through this church. Um, so we have to keep saying things like that we want to join so that we can track Batlin and eventually put a stop to this. Um, it's a lot more like investigative journalism than uh, the usual hack and slash, you know, that you see in these sort of games. It's a really interesting um, premise. But we did kill Palm Durgan, so yay us, that's already taken care of. And then we're probably going to look into this problem with Kalista and her oracle, and then uh, Yolinda. Because it gives these revelations, and we want to see what's going on with that. <clears throat> so Yolinda is running the city. There are three men who advise her. It's the city of beauty. It's very important uh, that they have that sort of thing. This is, this is all background that we did in the last video as well, so I'm not. I'm just kind of clicking through so that all conversation options get unlocked in the next one. Obviously, you know, if you um, don't know about someone like Batlin, you know, and you wanted to pause, you can certainly read through it as well. It's mostly that Batlin is the head priest there, and so on. So we're looking for clues to his whereabouts, and they're not really saying anything. Which is unfortunate. Um, we can pick locks and stuff, which is cool. I always thought that, that was a fun aspect um, because we're doing it for good. <laughs> we want to look around these places. A lot of our restraints are off. When we were in Britannia, we were for the people who were their spiritual leader. Oh, there's the obelisk. Interesting. Um, so, you know, there was a lot going on there. Over here, it's very straightforward. Another Britannian at Fawn. How may I serve they? The ship was hired by Batlin. Spread the word of the fellowship. Ventured in terrible storms. They're hard pressed in Fawn. Blessings upon thee. Delphinia knows my love, although she is unsure of her feelings for me. As long as she hath not rejected me out of hand, be content to wait. A good deed had given me reason to live. I will send thee to my shipmate Scots. That's who we want to find. Um, because he's with Batlin. I was not heard of Batlin. He was the founder of the Fellowship, a pious and worthy man. His description doth not much fit the Batlin we know, does it? Um, they're under siege by the goblins, who actually eat us. <laughs> so it's kind of, you know, there's a lot there. Batlin bade Leon stay and preach. Left the ship with three companions, Palos, Brunt, and Deadeye. Not seen them, though they promise to return soon. Dead Eye, Palos, don't know much about him. He's heavily cloaked. He might be a gargoyle. They do have monsters in this. Some of them do associate with humans, so it's an interesting mix. 
trying to emulate Leon, speaking well, you know, straightening up his life. Uh, that's kind of the hard thing about things like the fellowship is, you know, they do help people out and they do pull people together. But unfortunately, they are shaking up the status quo, which is an immediate no for most of us. You know, we just, any sort of um, figure of authority or if you work within a community or anything like that, you don't want that sort of thing around. Brunch is no semen. If I had not seen his face, I would have thought of a demon. He was so green. Seasick the entire voyage. What a temper. So they have these cute little anecdotes that flesh out. If you're at all interested in things like narrative or developing an NPC, this is a great game. Scott's is a fine fellow. He's distracted. A cartographer, yes. Yeah. So we got this um this map from him, which we can now use to find the guy that he's referring us to. Lightning jumping from cloud to cloud, dancing on the mask. Ships disappearing. Um, that happened to us as well. We got hit coming in, and it changed out ILO, so we had to break him out of prison because he got swapped out for an urn of ashes, which was obviously extremely offensive. They're kind of insular around here. They don't know you. You suck. Basically, what is this? Can I drag this? No, I w Wait, I know that I have a sextant, and I don't know who has it. So we have to have organization very soon, which obviously I'll be off screen. Um, but I do have a sextant kicking around here. Ton of money. All three cities use different currencies, which is interesting and alarming. Spent torch. I don't need that. We can have a great sword. Yeah, I'm hauling around a ton of stuff here, and I just. There it is. So we have a sextant. I'm at 72 south, 28 east. Which is the location of his mate, Scott. There's nothing marked on the map, I don't think. So there was the gob there's Fawn. There was the goblin camp. Um, down here are some orcs and so on. So we can head east. Let me look at the schematic here. We can head east since there's not much going on and see if we can find out a little bit more about this Batlin guy. <coughs> Let me pull the map up. I was going to change out more of my stuff. Oh, that's the swamp that I always die in. Okay, so plan B. What time was it? Five o'clock? We're going to go check out the Oracle at night. So we'll run out the clock and do some provisioning. So we'll do most of that off screen. It was interesting to run into the fellowship again, because that's ultimately why the British sent us here. These guards are something else, man. I can go talk to Delphinia again. Um, I don't think it'll get me anywhere, because Ruggs is just so dedicated to her, you know? Like, it kind of doesn't matter. Well, that's not Delphin Delphinia. Zulip has been following me. Spectre, though, are allied with the cause. So the, our cause would be lost. That happens a lot with the Avatar, where you'll find that people who just meet you say they're totally dependent on you and stuff like that. It's really weird. Let me see. Let's try and find a provisioner's shop. I'm sure they have one. That's the palace, like, right off the drop. There's not a whole lot of... I love the map. It, it comes with a cloth map, um, which is, oh, there's some down into the right I can check out, as well as up into the right. Um, there, it used to come with a cloth map in the box, so that was really interesting how they did that. Um, Lord British was very insistent that he wanted that sort of realism in his game and really pushed for it, so... It was an exciting um, time in gaming where they were breaking into, um, you know, how much of it was going to be tangible, TTRPG versus the, the games themselves. Oh, it's a pupper. The crying loot. Okay. <coughs> so these are all suspended on this Venice sort of um, 
Venetian, is that how you say that? This Venetian um, style walkway. Really a gorgeous city. It would be perfect for people coming back from sea. I'm reading Merchant of Venice. Um, and it has just such a great setup. We don't snoop around too much, but we do, you know, look into things because there's a mystery of foot. And basically, everyone keeps asking us to look into it. So, you know, happening. Um, I think they sell lockpicks here as well, so we're going to want to look into that. I think this might affect what my does. Palace is absolutely beautiful. It's done in that terrace style. There we go. There's a man. Can usually get some good gossip here, maybe some provisions. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, wrap it up here. Link in the description below if you do ever want to play along. They have some great face fights. Um, they have some great, you know, mentions from the real world, um, and it's got an interesting hook where it's nothing but side quests. So it's really interesting to explore around and see a created world. Um, that's very similar to the um, rogue lights that we used to have back in the day. Cool, so I snuck in here. That's interesting. This is the throne room, so I'm going to go find the oracle. We'll do that. Um, link in the description below. Also down there is Gamer Grind. Gamer Coffee shipped to your door. Buy this chick a coffee one dollar. Make me smile. Um, KOFI, or you can support us through Patreon. So if that's, you know, your jam, if you're into a more um, subscription style basis like you see on Twitch, then you can hit us up there. You get some behind the scenes stuff as well, which is nice. Um, and it's interesting, you know, we've been involved in a whole lot of stuff. I love the small graphics too. Really just a cool setup. And that's the background of the throne room. I gotta find this oracle here before the sun goes down. I wanna check it out when no one's around. See what's up. We do um that sort of um idolatry. Is this it? No, that's a statue. In our culture as well. So this is nothing new. Is this locked or open? It's locked. I bet there's a way around. Yeah, all of our links are in the description below. Definitely hit subscribe. So if you're following along with the series, if you loved Ultima, you just like rolling in the fields, you know, you can certainly do that. Um, you know, hang out with us, run back through Caesarea, Britannia. Um, this is old Caesarea. And check out the serpent's uh, religion and see where that takes us. Um, which was, it was different. It was, it's like the cousin to what Lord British wound up organizing for the um, eight virtues and so on. So reliving the boxed game days is always fun. Um, they really had a lot to recommend to them and I would love to see it carried through to the next generation of games. You know, there's a lot to say for the detail or paying attention to NPCs and that sort of thing, building your story that way, having an immersive experience in a completely different way. So he knocked it out of the park with that and he's really well known for it. So smash subscribe, hit the bell. Um, if you're not following the series, you would obviously just click on whatever does interest you. It'll pop up a little thumbnail. And you'll be able to follow along there. Do that instead. Um, so we love you guys. We love that you are always along for that. So uh, hit the like. You know, if you want to comment, we love hearing from you if you're a local. That's really cool. Stay safe. Game on. And we will see you next video.